Salty, warm, golden piss in the face. Open up your mouth, it comes the golden drops. Piss in the face. Hot, salty, warm, golden piss in the face. Open up your mouth, it comes the golden drops. Piss in the face. He walks without a plan in the valley of the deep. That woman stands firm and gives the enemies no rest. Sleep, they haven't seen it since they had to cross paths. Beliefs full of function here, you better haul ass. Needs just a bunch of messed up priorities. Stockholm is city filled with... Hi, I'm Ne... <laughs> Hi, my name is Grace BDF from woworgold.blogspot.com. Um, this is actually the most serious recording that I've ever made when it comes to gold making. So... Well, actually, when it comes to uh, the WoW experience overall, um, I've been doing music, so I have been recording other stuff. I have written posts on my blog, and uh, some of those posts haven't been published because I uh, either felt that the information in there or the ideas in there got old, like outdated, or I just couldn't finish the post, uh, you know, like no motivation. So... What I decided to do was to create show notes for uh, this YouTube recording because I'll be putting these on YouTube. I will not uh, be making any uh, making a podcast anytime soon. Well, not at least not that I'm hosting in any way because um, it just seems to be a lot of work and I'm lazy. So I thought that yeah, YouTube is a good way, and then I can have uh, screenshots of various things uh, on there. I have. Uh, various recordings uh, from my first session when I was drunk and I'm actually thinking of doing a not a podcast maybe but now I'm calling it a podcast for the simplicity but I'm actually going to upload the um, the stuff that I do on YouTube because uh, having it there seems to be the easiest way for me because I uh, I'm lazy and I want to get going so using YouTube takes away a lot of the parts of podcasting like RSS feeds, tags, um, and that kind of stuff. Although tags is basically like having labels on um, on the blog. So so I tripled my gold in five months from um, the end of uh, Wrath of the Lich King until five months into Cataclysm. Um, at the end of the Wrath of the Lich King, without well, Rattler, at the end of Lich King I had, uh, I reached a gold cap like uh, a few days before they released Cataclysm and the old gold cap was 240k 214k I just I don't do the the silvers and the um, what's it called the uh, copper because I, to be honest I had more gold than than the cap so it's no problem anyways uh, and also <laughs> I mean <laughs> never mind never mind so let's get on with it okay I just have to say it well, the thing is, some people are very like, yeah, it has to be a certain way or, you know, it doesn't count. You know, you have to do it this way and that's the only way. And I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. While I do it my way and just, you know, point fingers and say, fuck you. Um, you're right. So anyways, I'm a nice guy. I really am. It's just that I, some people just deserve fingers everywhere. And so I tripled my gold in five months, which is a long time for certain people. Uh, for my, on my part, I could have done it faster if I had spent more time actively just making gold. But I mean, the fucking JC shuffle was so boring, so I couldn't do it nonstop. It just, you know, just couldn't do it, couldn't handle it. Uh, so I tripled the gold and um, had 700k pre-patch, uh, pre what's it called, 4-1. The nerf that Evan was so scared about, the JMTC meetings, which, oh my god, I was laughing at those comments. Well, not comments, but the conversations. But it got so annoying as well because they just couldn't stop talking about fucking jewel crafting. I mean, we play World of Warcraft, there are, I don't know, eight professions or something, and you, they can do the first aids and the cookings and fishings and whatever. Archimonology. And um, you have, I don't know, eight people stuck up on jewel crafting and a nerf. That doesn't really affect anyone that does a true shuffle. Hot, salty, warm, golden piss in the face. Open up your mouth, it comes the golden drop. Wow, I'm falling asleep here. Oh, God, it's so fucking boring. So yeah, fuck that. It's an old topic. I'm not going there. Wow or gold um, is the blog that I'm writing, and um, 
address there is uh, woworgold.blogspot.com. I'm Grace BDF, and I'm the author and uh, the one person that runs that um, blog. And um, the way I look at it is uh, um, when I get into things, I have a, like a future vision of where I want to go. And uh, with this blog, I feel that I I didn't want to create a blog that was primarily about gold making or only about gold making. I'd rather have a blog that could discuss 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 different things that are Warcraft related. And uh, especially since me as a player, I I can or I as a player, I don't I have no idea. Anyway, uh, I can definitely go different ways with the things I do. And I mean, I can play the auction house for months, but I mean, if I get bored, what happens then? Will I stop blogging? Fuck no. Instead, I'll just go like, okay, right now I feel like raiding, which I actually am since I hit one million, and um, that way I can just um, you know write about that or write about other things that I've been thinking about, like addiction, like World of Warcraft addictions or whatever. Um, and um, I created the blog in order to create discussions and uh, post questions and uh, write my ideas on things and in my point of view, and not write because that's a I don't know many people that write gold tips like yeah come to my blog I'll give you gold tips great you know do that but for me fuck that shit man I I uh, I write about principles I write about strategies I write about methods maybe I don't know but it's all a philosophy to me it's a mindset gold making is not something it's not just an activity it's it's uh the funny thing is I've you know I've, I've been a rapper I am a rapper but right now I'm an actor but this will get me going I'm sure but anyway I'll make wow or gold hits <laughs> right and anyway uh yep where was I and here we start going seven again from raid warning seven is a guy from raid warning you gotta listen to that podcast it's fucking great it's hilarious I love that shit oh so where the fuck was I we had the philosophy on things the language I'm sorry but uh I mean when I chat with you I can be very um mature and such but since I'm talking, I mean, I'm me. What can I say? Things come out the way they do. It's just me. <laughs> so the philosophy, in a way, is um, to discuss things and such. Focus more on the principle or principles behind things rather than just like, yeah, I sell this item and this item only and whatever. Do this price, do that. No, no, no. So you get the fucking picture. Re uh, go to the blog, read something or don't read. Just look at the pictures and you'll understand that, yep, this guy is kind of different in a fucked up way. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And uh, the, the thing about these recordings is I'll keep going regardless if I get flamed or not because um, I'll just end it here uh, with uh, the last thing that I was going to say, which was um, I'll keep on recording these because I feel that, um, well, actually I have an urge and I've had it since I was a kid. I'm talking like I was six years old, six years old, six years old with a tape recorder. I was listening to Soul Corner because I live in Sweden and uh, been into hip hop since I was a little kid. So, thanks to my older brother who's an idiot. And then anyway, I I was listening to <laughs> I just love punching him in the nuts when he's not hearing. And then um, anyway, I was listening to uh, Soul Corner, uh, which it was called back then with the Mats Nilsjär and um, hip hop and stuff and I would be so inspired by what he what he had and the songs that he was playing so I would record the songs and then sometimes I would just like yeah this song is great and then I would, what, when he was talking I would be like nah this isn't that interesting so I'll just record my own and then I'd be talking and rapping and just like be like yeah this is so cool I was like yeah, six years old sometimes I remember a tape I was nine years old and I was rapping and I wasn't saying words it was just sounds like wow 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 you know, it's funny how rapping uh, is, uh, yeah, how it, how you can grow as a rapper, really. It's funny. But it's also funny how most rappers sound the same when they begin. Anyways, this is Wow We're Gold. Um, I'm Grace BDF, and I'm signing the fuck out. And I'm going to drink beer and do the second recording. So thank you. Have a nice day. And let me hold this phone, which I was about to, uh, never mind. Bye.